Channel 3, early warning weather. Well, today was nice and warm. Temperatures actually made it into the low 80s in places like Windsor Locks today, where the high was 82, made it up to 80 in Hartford. A lot of places were in the mid to upper 70s, except Groton. That was the cool spot with the high of 68 degrees. Now, this year so far, we had two days, 90 degrees. That happened in May. That's the total so far last year. We had 39 days, and that is an all-time record since records began for the greater Hartford area all the way back in 1905. I think by uh, this time next week, that uh, two is going to turn into six. So we got a heat wave coming our way. We'll talk more about that in a moment. But the defi definition of a heat wave is 90 degrees or higher for three consecutive days or longer. And we do believe that's going to happen beginning over the weekend. All right, for now, though, it's nice and comfortable. It's 63 degrees in Hartford. It's in the upper 50s in Waterbury. Everybody is cloudy tonight, but there's no rain in the state right now. New London is calm and 58 degrees. You can see uh, hardly any ripples on the water as we look across the Thames River over toward uh, Groton. Okay, so temperature wise, we range anywhere from uh, the upper 50s to as high as 64 degrees in Windsor Locks. But again, the humidity is low. Dew points are in the 50s, as low as 52 in Meriden. But this is going to be kind of ramping up over the next 24 hours. And I would not be surprised to see dew points reach the lower 60s as we go through the day tomorrow. And it's going to get even more humid as we go into Friday and the upcoming weekend. So we did have some sprinkles around earlier today. They're gone. They have moved away to the north. We got some heavier rain off to our west that will likely stay to our west. But this area of showers uh, to our southwest will probably start moving into Connecticut as we go into tomorrow morning. So at midnight, we're cloudy but dry. Then here comes that round of showers moving in from the southwest. There might be a few heavier showers mixed in there. And then as we go into the early part of the afternoon, a few hit or miss showers, there's a chance for a shower or thunderstorm during the course of the afternoon. Now, Friday might be a little bit brighter, but not by very much. I still think, though, there is a chance for a shower or thunderstorm. There you see around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. According to this model, there's going to be uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms from southwestern to northeastern Connecticut around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Things will settle down Friday evening. There's drier air off to our north and west, and that's going to be moving in for the weekend. So right now we don't have any rain in the forecast for the weekend, but we do have some heat. As far as the severe threat goes, well, it looks like the worst weather will be to our southwest in this green area, even east New York or the yellow area where there is a threat for uh, damaging winds and there might be a few strong thunderstorms that could make their way into western Connecticut before they run into more stable air across the rest of the state tomorrow. So lows tonight will be in the mid to upper 50s, cloudy, showers developing toward dawn and uh, due to the clouds tomorrow uh, we'll see high temperatures ranging anywhere from 66 in New London to 72 in Vernon, Hartford and Enfield. So it's not going to be uh, warm tomorrow but uh, you you will start to notice the increase in the humidity. Friday, a high near 80, humid. There is that chance for a storm. Then over the weekend, brighter skies and rising temperatures. Saturday, 87, 93 on Sunday. Monday, 94, Tuesday, 93, and Wednesday, 90. There you go, a four-day heat wave. And for the shoreline, we'll be in the uh, upper 60s tomorrow, 70s on Friday. But the weekend is going to be pretty warm. Some good weather to go to the beach with highs in the 80s.